can hear. I don't know whether he can seriously say he thinks he has the best hand. I think he's just making a nice, solid bluff here. I'll tell you the truth. I love the way he's playing. He absolutely does not think it. He thinks if X-22 had ace high or a pair, he would have raised before the flop. He didn't do so. That's true. Well, X-22 looking even more desperate right now. He's he folds his hand. That's a nice play by spot. Tony Lee right there to pick up that pot. Oh, how do you do this? I mean, this guy has a day job. You know, he works as a, a supervising the casino. How do you also play world-class poker when you have that kind of job? If anyone has a home table advantage, it's Tony Lee. Tony works here at the Reno Hilton as a game supervisor, but today he's in the middle of all the action. When you watch him play, you'll see that Tony Lee likes to lie low. When I'm playing, I'm thinking a lot and how to play and I watch them how to play and I don't talk much when I'm playing. Tony's play is very steady and he, he plays a very good game. You'll see him not make a lot of moves, uh, but when he does make a move, he usually uh, has the good. So I just have to be careful what he's doing and I better have a good hand when he's in. Tony's sweet smile and calm disposition reflects his sure and steady pace throughout the tournament. The key of the game is patient, but I do need some hand. I'm patient enough to get a hand. But just because Tony's polite and patient, it doesn't make him a pushover. If they play uh, aggressive, then I can adjust that and I can place again. When I play poker, I want to win. There it is. Oh, yeah. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. You have to admire the way this kid has played. He's got a shot to win this tournament. Anybody can do it. And this kid is a talented little player, believe me. Okay, we're back to action. It's on the dentist, Cal Dykes. He's got a 6-3. He's not going to call. X-22 looks at his hand. He's got 7-5 of diamonds. But notice he stopped raising him so much. He's calling here, trying to see a flop. Tony Lee's got 8-4 offsuit. He's going to bluff this one. No, he's trying to call it. He's trying to see a flop with an 8-4 offsuit himself. Now, Ron Rose has picked up King Jack of Heart. Is he just going to settle for a call? No, he's not. He's raising them. He sensed weakness. He sensed they were trying to get in there to see a cheap flop. Very nice raise here by Ron Rose. There's no way they're going to be able to call it with these hands they have. He's got a quality hand, King Jack of Heart. He's going to try to push them out before the flop. 7-5 folds in the 4-8 folds, and Ron Rose picks up the pot. Nice pickup by Ron Rose. That's term experience, Vince, right there. He sensed weakness on their part. He came back over the top with the King Jack and picked up the pot. Look at that, Mike. Now, that is just another great play. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, it was a great one, and there's more great play to come. Stay tuned for more exciting poker action from the Reno Hilton on the World Poker Tour. Dismissal of T.J. Cloutier. Mark Edwards was next to go. And now, the stacks have shifted from Paul McGrill to Ron Rose. Cal Dykes and Tony Lee are patient in their play, but they better act quick because time is running out. With hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line, a WPT title, and the last seat at the World Poker Tour Championship at stake, some players still stay cool, calm, and collected. Others, however, are chomping at the bit. Well, Ron is playing wonderfully today, but it's going to be on Tony Lee to start the action here. He looks at his cards. He's got two queen of hearts. Suited up. He's not going to play it. Mr. Dayton, Ohio himself, is going to go out with five eight of diamonds. And look oh, at man. this. Here we go again. All in for Cal. Oh, man. We have seen this. Deja vu. Give him credit. He's consistent. He's got ace eight off suit. He's got one move, and so far nobody has played with him yet. He's got one move, but it's a brilliant move. Paul McGrill looks at Queen Nine off suit. Can be hard to call an all-in bet with that. He doesn't do it. And the doctor operates again, Vince. He's done it again. Look at him. Power poker from Cal Dykes, the dentist. It's amazing. Nobody's seen one of his hands yet today, Vince. That's very true. He's actually become the phantom player. When he pushes it, you don't see his cards. Here we go. Back in the action. It's on Ron Rose. 
Now Ron's got a 6-4 off suit. He's going out. Cal, the dentist, has done it again. He's got a pair of nines. X-22's out. Well, just the pedal to the metal. They should just put a button in front of him where he just pushes it. All in. All in. All in. Tony Lee's out. He's going to take this pot again. This time they all fold him before he can even push his chips to the middle. They have normally waited until they push him out in the middle. This time he didn't even have to do that. He is one scary customer. He's just taking these pots. This has been a tremendous tournament so far, and a lot of that credit goes to our host here at the Reno Hilton. You know, it's been a truly great week for these players. I mean, they've had a great week of poker, but in addition, there's just so much you can do here in the Reno Tahoe area. I mean, seriously, you can ski, you can golf, you can mountain bike. It's amazing. Do you do any of those things, Vince? No. Actually, I've been to the casino nonstop, but I could if I wanted to. And Shauna Hyatt is going to prove me right. Shauna. The Reno Lake Tahoe area is known for its natural beauty and outdoor adventure. In poker-friendly Nevada, that makes Reno and the Reno Hilton one place that you can go to play and then go and play. Within an hour's drive of Reno, you can find nearly 40 golf courses and the greatest concentration of ski resorts in the world. The Reno Tahoe area is the best. It's a lot of fun. You can mountain bike in the morning and snowboard in the afternoon. It's located right beside the Sierra Mountains, beside Lake Tahoe. It offers a, an abundance of outdoor activities as well as all the amenities that you would expect in a large casino hotel. And when the sun goes down, the fun really begins. Not only does the Reno Hilton offer a wide range of casino games, they're also the hosts of a world-class poker tournament. The Reno Hilton and the World Poker Challenge, one place where you can find beauty and adventure both outside and in. We're down to four players on the World Poker Tour. It's going to be on Ron Rose, the chip leader at this point. He's got Jack Seven. The two different suits in his hand. He's not going to play. And Cal Dax with six eight offsuit folds. The X twenty two likes to mix it up constantly. He's got a crummy hand. Let's see how he plays it. All in. All in, he says. Oh man, all, all in by X twenty two. He's going all, all in. You got to be kidding me. Now, Tony looks at an ace eight, and that's not a bad hand forehanded. Ah, ace eight offsuit is not so great. If he calls and loses this pot, he's out of the tournament. On the other hand, it's X22 that's moved in on him, and Tony knows he's the biggest thief at the table. Well, you read the books, and they tell you hands to play. Seven deuce is not one of them. Now, like Tony, he looked over there at X22. Look, he's going to call called. it. He's going to call him he down. He read him perfectly well, right here, Vince. Call. What a nice call by Tony Lee right here. This is a huge call for Tony Lee. He's picked up on something. And right now, X-22 doesn't want to show his hand. He looks a little embarrassed, I well, bet. Well, he's got his hand caught in the cookie jar one more time here, Vince. Look at this. I, I pity the man. He doesn't want to show the cards. He's not. He's counting out the chips. I'm afraid he thinks he's going to lose them, so he's counting out his chips right here. I respect him, though, to make that kind of raise on that with a seventh deuce. Well, that's what poker's all about, though. You make that kind of play. All right. Tony now sees the seventh deuce and gives it the fist. Clinches his hand. He loves the situation. Yeah, he's very, very happy now that he made this call. That was a tough call to make with Ace-8 off suit for all your money. Yeah, but he hasn't won yet. There is a flop coming up. Here we go with the flop. Let's see what happens. The flop is... Well, flop is king, 5-3, no help for X-22. No, the ace eight is in front Tony is still in the at lead. this point. Turn X-22 turn has to have some help. Now there's an ace. ace. Now this also gives X-22 a straight draw. He must catch a four to win this pot. Well, Tony's four. way out Tony in front with a pair of aces. A four here. No Let's four! No four! Card. He's got to catch a four. Can a miracle happen? No, it's not going to happen. Do it. Tony very happy right now about the way he played this hand and in winning this pot. Oh, that's going to cripple X-22. Look at him. He's going to have nightmares about raising these pots with seven deuce. That didn't work this time for Tony. He maybe saw through that. He makes a good call, picks up a huge pot, and this crowd loves this. Plenty more action to come from Reno, Nevada, here on the World Poker Tour.
back to the final table of the World Poker Challenge. Here with the call of the action is poker expert Mike Sexton and Hollywood home game ace Vince Van Patten. Guys? At this stage, Vance, Ron Rose is still in commanding chip position with 560,000 in chips. To Tony now. Lee has moved into second spot with about 155,000. Cal the Dennis Dykes has about 82,000. At the bottom of the totem pole right now is X-22 with about 70,000 in chips. Well, Mike, this has been fantastic action here today. We've seen it all here. Well, the action's going to be on Ron Rose, our chip leader. And this time he's got a 5-3 offsuit. Not going to play it. Ron folds. Cal Dykes, the dentist, has picked up 10-7 of diamonds. Look at this. All in on a 10-7. Okay, he's going to make a bluff here. Not a very strong hand. He's going all in. He's doing his usual all in routine. Next 22 has 6 7 off suit. He can't call. Only one he's got to beat is Tony Lee, who's got an 8 jack of diamonds. What's he going to do? Well, I don't know how you can call an all in bet with a jack 8. 81,000. And he doesn't. He's going to take this pot. Now, this is amazing. This guy eight. makes the same play every time, all in. He never has to show down a hand. Well, they've got to be scratching their head wondering what this guy has. Nobody's seen one of his hands yet, Vince. He is some player. He is taking it to these guys on the World Poker Tour. And All it's going to be on one, him this time once again. First to act. He's got ace four this time. And he this time he goes out. X-22 has got an ace five. Now he's going to pick up where the dentist left off. He's going all in. Quack, quack, plus one. It's quack, 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 plus one. 67,000 he's betting. Well, he's now become the short stack in this tournament here. And Tony Lee's got a queen six of hearts. Well, I don't fault X-22 for going all in here. He can pick up 16,000 in blinds and annies by winning this pot. He's not going to fold if somebody re-raises him, so you might as well go ahead and go all in. Put him to the test. Ron Rose has got two, three. Fifty-nine thousand to call. Look at him; he's kind of flashing his cards. That's usually a sign you're not going to play. Well, he's not going to play. We know he's not. He okay, well, X-22 is going to take this pot. Call. I can see he wants a call. Look at this. Call kind of I mean, a, call a little bit better than that, right, Ron? Now he's, he's okay. chirping it up here. You got to love the fact that he's an action player at the table. He creates action, and nobody ever knows what he has. You know, Mike, it is such a pleasure to watch T.J. Cloutier and these other pros play. I mean, they're really great. But I have to say, I'm kind of surprised that some of the young up-and-coming players didn't make this final table. Well, it's not for lack of trying, Vince. The young guns were here. The Phil Ivies, Alan Cunninghams, Daniel Negranus, Antonio Esfandaris. They were here. They just came up short. It's true. But these guys are the future of poker. And as Shauna Hyatt tells us, the future is almost here. Shauna? The history of the American West is filled with images of young men making their mark on the world. 